Hello everyone, my name is Ajaj Patel and I am from webfhub.blogspot.com. Welcome to the part 21 of e-commerce website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial, we successfully deleted our categories dynamically from here subcategories. So in this tutorial, we are deleting our product dynamically. So guys, let's start. When I click on this delete button, then this product is deleted successfully. So first of all, we need to find this link here in our source code. So open our function.php page, open it. Okay, just right click function, then we all products. Here it is. So look at here, here is the option delete. Now we need to create a link here. So let's give the same page which is we use in next uh, previous tutorial. We give the name like uh, delete cat.php. So delete, sorry, delete underscore cat.php. And we also need to create a one get here. So create get like uh, delete pro. Okay. And it's also equal to this one because we need to only delete single product which is selected by user okay so it's fine now we need to remember this get so i'm going to copy this one from here go down and here i create one function like a function and function name is uh, delete product okay then first of all we need to include our connection file database connection file so inc slash db dot php okay then we need to create our variable here like delete product just for our uh, this variable use in our query so our variable is dollar underscore get single quotes that get which is created by us in our delete product link so now we need to write a query like delete pro yeah we need to declare here product id delete product id just example purpose you can give any name but i for my understanding purpose i use this name so delete pro equal to dollar con prepare sorry prepare spelling is wrong prepare double code then say delete from products because our table name is products but where pro id equal to this id this one so i'm simply going to copy this paste it from here because you only need to delete this one which which is selected by uh, our admin so now we need to execute this query just simply we are going to copy this one from here our this subcategory condition paste it from here change the name delete subcat to delete pro paste it from here okay now our user redirect on this page when he click on delete button so how can we do that we simply just copy this url from here by control c and paste it from here by control v and we also change the message to product deleted successfully okay so let's see what happened here Okay, when I refresh, when I, uh, I don't need this one from here, so I'm going to delete this. Let's check its uh, information and something. Okay, we delete this on second number. So delete it. Yeah, just because we don't give any condition in our delete cat page. Okay, so simply we need to give the condition here and we also need to include our function here. Control V and our get name is delete pro and our 
function name is also delete pro okay now refresh it again when i click on view all pro and click on second number product okay let's uh, click on second number product we, uh, when i click on delete yeah call undefined function delete pro let's check what's the name of our function here delete product it's delete product and we declare here delete pro so it's give the error control s for save now come back again click on here when i click on the delete button yeah look at this now product deleted successfully when i click on ok then look at this here are the product is deleted successfully okay let's edit and change the name of here so edit uh, yeah uh, i think this is this is perfect so when i click on this number eight product view is uh, this images okay so delete when i click on delete then it say product deleted successfully also check here product deleted successfully so guys i think uh, this is enough for today now our uh, our admin area is ready and we have some data in our admin area so i think now we need to jump on user side area okay so uh, in next tutorial we start working on here and we display all the products of uh, which is available in our database okay so which is available in our database we need to display the product here and also we display categories and something like that so now in next tutorial we are jumping on our user side and we create some queries like display all the products from here then when uh, what happen when someone click on add to cart what happen when someone click on pro details product details then after orders and users uh, user management and something like that so we need to stop here so guys i think this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and i suggest you then you can you need to work hard and you need to practice this code at your home just because php is only easy when when you are practice your code in home and you are understanding is very well then php is easy otherwise php is hard for you so i suggest you do uh, practice on your home because practice make men perfect so you need to practice your code at home so i think now we are so close to our course so now and in this uh, next lecture we need to display here some products so guys i think this is enough for today so if you like my video then like and share my video and if you have any question then comment below and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel because it is very benefit for you for latest update of my channel videos directly into your inbox so guys stay connected with me stay tuned thanks for watching goodbye